Hi everybody, it's October 17, 2017. I want to thank my subscriber for leaving this link, the link to this radio program, where they're talking about Deborah Tavares. It seems like a very interesting radio program. I've never heard of it. Freedom Scream with Eric, the Freedom Screamer Jones. This is the October 11 broadcast or podcast. Uh, Lori Anderson is discussing mastering the human domain, which by definition is the human domain in the totality of the physical, cultural, and social environments that influence human behavior to the extent that success of any military operation or campaign depends, and they are mastering the human domain right here in the United States with Americans. Deborah Tavares is alive. She does live in Sonoma County or that area. She was evacuated. Listen to what they have to say. I can't do it because we got Lori on, on the line. We got Lori, we got Gary, we got Chris. Chris, what were you just telling us that uh, Chris has uh, some interesting, very, it sounds to me like some really important information to relay from Deborah Tavares who does excellent work in the, uh, especially in the field of the smart meter research and the electronic grid, as well as the government testing, uh, the, the, the legalized guinea pig testing that the U.S. military and the scientific and medical establishment uh, do on, on, on their own people here in this country. So anyway, Deborah Tavares is very reliable. Chris, what did she have to say to you now? Uh, break this down for us. All right. She sent me emails. If I was more tech savvy, I would figure out how to do it to you. Maybe you can teach me after the call or something like that. Of actual FEMA FBI agents marching through their community, armed with long rifles and handguns, forcing people from their homes. She was packing up her family and from their home, and they were supposed to be in the red fire watch zone and being evacuated. Now, okay. they call that they've been under a weather war assault there for many years, multiple passes of chemical sprayings in the area, aerial sprayings, solar radiation management, as they call it, which has nothing to do with uh, reflecting the sun. It has to do with poisoning the aquifers, the land, and the plants, and killing everything in sight. In fact, you can see quite a few dead trees in the pictures that she sold me, uh, sent me. And what they're doing is they're forcing people out of their homes. They're claiming they won't be able to be allowed back until FEMA can ensure that you've had the infrastructure restored, have power, water, and communications and things restored back in their homes. Doing Great, the same thing years. And fuse. They get, absolutely. The same thing they did in Katrina. When Craig Fugate, the communist for the Department of Homeland Security, uh, forced people from their homes, then had the Communist Corps of Engineers go in to so-called abate their homes to protect them from hypothetical dangers that may occur irrespective of any valuables, metals, coin collections, or other family mementos that might have been retrievable, even old tools they might have wanted to save because of their collectability and valuability. Even pictures can be dried out and reclaimed from that sort of stuff. But he claimed it was too dangerous to go back, so they were going to have to bulldoze everything. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's kind of interesting. Huh. Well, let's see. Maybe I better see what's going on here. Huh. What's up, Chris? <laughs> Chris, are you getting beamed up to uh, Planet Pleiades, or what's going on over there? Uh, I don't know what's happening. It's real strange. I've never heard it before. <laughs> we have. Well, I, and I always check with Mike on the board just to make sure it's, you know, if it's an explainable, you know, glitch, glitch we, 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 we give it, you know, we explain it. But, boy, we've had a lot of dropped calls, interrupted broadcast. Eric, the Freedom Screamer, getting his call dumped, right, when he's pushing the, the exact buttons that they don't want pushed. And Chris as well. So uh, bear with us on, this, on the background. Well, you catch it. But, uh, you catch it. Well, well, you know, well, Chris, hold on a second. <laughs> I want to back up a little. What, where, what exactly, what jurisdiction, what part of the country was this? And was this in California that Deborah was being, that she witnessed people being forced from their homes by the uh, three-letter agency? Good thing we have the yeah, FBI she, keeping everybody safe and throwing them out of their homes. 
Now, she lives up in the Sonoma Wine Country area of California. I think she mentioned specifically the Palos Vegas area. That was a okay. resort area that's pretty nice that they were being forced out. Many homes have been burned, plumbed to the ground, destroyed, businesses destroyed with fire. And it's not without consideration that because Governor Moonbeam, Jerry Brown, the communist himself, who's wanted to uh, secede from the union and become a part of the UN, would be precipitating this sort of activity. In fact, John was forecasting that he thought that there could be a good possibility that they were actually starting the fires. The government agents, the BLM, they've been known to start fires and like they were burning people out of their property, like they were trying to do the Bundys. And of course, then when the Bundys tried to do fire control management, that a backfire to keep their property from burning to the ground, they charged them with starting a fire. That's kind of what uh, set some of that stuff uh, apart. Not the Bundys, but the uh, uh, Hammonds. The the yeah, absolutely. Well, it's well within the frame of reason that the government would lay a fire to cause chaos and capitalize on it. And, and, you, and you don't have to go far these days to wake people up and get through to people. There's very few people that would dispute that uh, very strong possibility that it's the three-letter agencies well, that create chaos. Once again, i got to go back to my very close friend of mine who was tops in his class at the hostage rescue uh, uh, training, and they told him they're not going to need him because he placed too much of a high value on life. And they were looking for people well, in the hostage rescue unit who would be willing to get as many civilians killed as possible to justify the well, existence. Rem and remember, and Eric, I don't want to steal Lori's thunder, but Jade Helm and owning the human domain and controlling the human domain and the total sphere of planetary operations, the global new world order. This is what FEMA, their drill of Jade Helm was about. And if you look at their maps, a lot of these same areas are the ones that are being attacked with weather war, fire war, these asymmetrical wars where they can use all forms of all forms of technocracy, whether it's fire, weather, they're having dry lightning strikes, that's Operation God Bolt. There are satellite weaponized laser energy systems that can be used to participate volcanoes and seismic activity. The seismic activity, there's at least three different volcanoes that are active in the northern part of California. The seismicity up and down the northern California San Andreas Fault and the associated fault lines are very active. Yellowstone is also hyperactive. And they're talking about the insanity of dumping cold water to inject it inside the magna, which is hundreds of uh, degrees hot which will naturally cause it to explode and start the eruption that they claim they're trying to suppress by allegedly cooling it off in their insane, uh, baseless theories of insanity. Right. And before we go back to Lori, I think it's important that we refer, maybe Mike on the board uh, can pull this up sometime in the next, you know, 20 or minutes or a half hour or whatever. Uh, the comments by Secretary of Defense, William Cohen, who specifically discussed uh, to scalar weapons, tectonic weapons, uh, uh, weather weapons of mass destruction, that of course we wouldn't want to fall into the hands of the terrorists. I'm much more worried about <laughs> falling into the hands of the U.S. government and military, who's got it right now. They're the ones that I'm really worried about. And maybe Mike can pull well, that up uh, and, um, in and fact, uh, we, can, Eric, we can hear it from the horse's mouth. If you mouth. remember, Deborah Chavaris's website, StopTheTime.net, has a lot of these authentic original documents, such as owning the weather in 2025, uh, the air flows, the uh, UN plan for total domination takeover, UN Agenda 21, the State Department bulletin pamphlet number 7277. Uh, uh, yeah, let's plug her site again, again Chris. Or plug her site let's again slowly. Stopthecrime.net. Stopthecrime.net. Stop the That's crime net. Yeah. She's a constant researcher, and analyst, and investigator. Yeah, I was getting emails from people wondering where what happened to her and is she okay? Is she well, still around? And, and uh and it, you know, was, it was very, very uh it was almost unbelievable coincidental or spiritually guided. I had talked about her on right. John Fettler's show and I hadn't right. heard from her in over a year or two and she called me up. And she was very, very concerned and panicked. She had her grandchildren there with her, helping them move out. I heard her daughter being concerned about uh, talking to people with these crazy ideas, delusional people, as some have called me on this network recently. But uh, it's unfortunate that the Bolshevik Revolution is at our doorstep here in America, version two. And that's exactly right. 
Okay, so Deborah Tavares is alive. Very good. Not good that she has had to evacuate, but happy to hear, happy to hear, happy, no, 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 not happy, but Deborah Tavares saying FEMA, FBI, ordering people out of their homes, and they will not be able to return to their homes, not for a very, very long time. And if and when they are able to return, you need to look at the legislation that was passed in these local areas of California. I have no doubt that they have an awful lot of green legislation that they have passed which will make it very difficult for people to rebuild. Very expensive for people to rebuild. So I hope that Deborah Tavares' home is still standing. Um, I would love to hear from her directly, but at least we did get some word about what is taking place with Deborah Tavares. The link is below. Yeah, bookmark this radio show. It sounds quite interesting.